uh, the China Grove uh, Landis area. And uh, we do believe in uh, Yeshua. You would call him Jesus, we call him Yeshua. And uh, we do believe that Jew and Gentile must come together, especially in this day and time when our very country, the United States of America, is being threatened as well from every side. Uh, you know, it's, it was a time we have a, a Officer Bass with us today. There was a time when there was major respect for our police officers, and now the police officers have to be afraid to even go into the areas because people don't respect them anymore. They don't respect the authority of this land anymore in so many places. And so today is a time of remembering what has happened in the past, but it's also a time of calling out to us as the people of today that we look to see what could come our way. I'm not saying go home and pile, stockpile guns and everything else, God <laughs> forbid. But I am saying, be on your knees in prayer. Seek God, because we're coming to a place in this land that we're forgetting who God is. He's not a God of convenience. He is just God. Amen. And that says Amen. it all. And so today we do want to remember the Holocaust victims, the six million Jews. There were over 10 point something million people killed during the time of the Nazi regime. And in your, uh, the little brochures that you've got, the little bulletins that you've got, it gives you 33 points that you need to know about the Holocaust. But we also need to remember that today genocide is still going on in places like Uganda. Genocide is still going on in places like Ethiopia. The IAMCS, which is the International Association of Messianic Congregations and Synagogues, is very uh, proactive in these areas trying to help so that this will not happen again. Mm -hmm. But when there comes a point that we forget who God is and when there comes a point that we set aside the authority and we take it on ourselves or we allow others to take it without us taking consideration. And I would say, you know, if I was set up here on a political thing, I would say, please vote. <laughs> you know? But this is where we have our rights is that we do have the ability to vote. Today as we march, we want to remember those who were lost in the Holocaust. But we also want to remember that this is a time when we do have to come together as Americans. And we have to stand together in the face of the enemy as he comes to us as believers in Messiah Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah. We have to stand together, Jew and Gentile. Will it ever come to the point that our lives may be required of us. I don't know. I hope not. I hope it does not come to that point at any time. But could it? Absolutely. If not in our lifetimes, in the lifetimes of our children or the lifetimes of our grandchildren. And so today, when we march, we're marching with a prayerful thought. God bless us, America. Mm -hmm. My hope as a Jewish believer is that my kinsmen, those who do not believe in Messiah, will come to know their Messiah. And so today I ask that you pray for those who do not know Messiah, that they will come to know him whether they are Jew or whether they're Gentile. Because he's one God for all. To give you a little bit of a history about this march, This is where I had to put on my, <laughs> as my kids say, my old man glasses. We're so with you. <laughs> it started in Tubingen, uh, in, tu uh, in the town of Tubingen in Baden Wittenberg, Germany. Uh, they first expelled all of their Jewish residents in 1477, and it became a place where anti Jewish doctrines flourished. Most notoriously during World War II, obviously. But now, according to the Jerusalem Post and according to the German papers, a small section of Jews have finally, after since, 19, since 1477, have moved back into that town. And I can't really, I can't speak all of these uh, 
these uh, German names. So, but uh, over the last 20 years, uh, the TOS TOS, which is the congregation that started this, a Christian congregation in Germany, who started this, has come up to 250 members. And they all have a special love for Israel and for the Jewish people. That's awesome. Uh, according to Scripture, you know, as Gentiles, as non-Jewish people, we are to make the Jew, je uh, the Jew jealous. We can only do that if we serve God in the way that God, God would have us to serve Him and not necessarily in the way we want to serve Him. The, the uh, church is actually a large tent there, and I'm gonna fall off my little podium here. <laughs> the church is, I used to be a clown, by the way. I did go to Ringling Brothers in Vermont. I did. I'm in Sarasota, Florida. Trust me. I have the pictures to prove it. But at any rate, part of the repentance of the March of Life it was organized by the TOS and uh, to remember the Holocaust. Uh, that march in uh, 2007 took place uh, 350 kilometers from uh, Bissingen to Dachau. Uh, I'm going to go on. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about this. They have come to the point that they had uh, two years ago at the Holocaust Remembrance. They had the sons, the daughters, the grandchildren of the SS uh, men who would kill and who would uh, maim and destroy the Jewish people. Their children and their grandchildren are now in this church. And so a couple years ago, the Jewish Holocaust survivors came to that church. And when they came to that church, these children and these grandchildren of the Nazis got on their knees and washed their feet. Mm -mm -mm. It didn't stop there. Because then the Holocaust victims got on their knees and washed the feet of the Nazis' grandchildren and children. To me, that says God's love like nothing else. Hallelujah. That we're willing to kneel before each other and to bless each other taking away all pride, all prejudices, and all fears, and saying, I love you. Amen. How can I serve you? Messiah Yeshua said that we were to be servants. And he said, I am the greatest servant. It should be our plan, our desire today, to be the servant of the Most High. And in being a servant to the Most High, to be a servant to each other. On this march, if you see someone faltering and needing help, don't hesitate to help them. Don't walk past them. I don't think anybody in this crowd would. I don't know you, but I don't think you would. I know many of your pastors. And I know that one's mean, and so is that one. So, <laughs> we would. We would. <laughs> no, no. We're not watching history. <laughs> oh, we've got a standing one on that one. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, let's today, let's remember those who were lost. The sages tell us that those who do not remember history are doomed to repeat it. I don't choose to repeat history. Amen. I choose to move forward and not backwards. And I hope that you'll join me with that. I'm going to ask Pastor David Franks from First Reform.